Hello world, it's Dave again, and I thought I'd make a video on the benefits of teaching English in Japan. Of what you'd think it'd be a pretty obvious topic, but it's not one that I've actually covered so far, and just more and more it's been standing out to me that I've been really enjoying it, and it's worth kind of sharing a few of those things that may not uh, immediately you might not think about when you do it. And probably first and foremost, that's been coming up in the last little bit is the number of holidays <laughs> that you get. Um, just because there's tons of national holidays, so you're going to get lots of lots of time off. Um, in addition to that, beyond the the days that you just naturally get off, and you get you get a lot of them. So if you can fill your free time. Um, you've got you've got options. You know you could be going on some really cool trip. You could be uh, you could be visiting a friend who is here. You know what whatever of, of all the uh, the million things that you could do uh, because you've got that free time. Um, aside from that, the next thing that I would talk about now this is, I've made videos about this before, but this would vary depending on the schools that you're teaching at. I teach at junior high schools as opposed to. Uh, elementary schools but if you teach at junior high schools because there is such a level of grammar in teaching English at that point that's required the uh, the amount of workload is usually more heavily put on the the Japanese teacher in the class than on yourself some schools vary I've said that as well in other videos for example I have one school that expects me to do a lot more the other one expects me to do a lot less but on average it's a given fact that you're going to have a pretty light workload in comparison to the elementary school. And I have days where I might have three classes. I have days where I might have two classes in the course of an eight hour day with six potential classes that you can have. So another benefit is that during your work day, if you fill that time, you could be doing a million really good things for yourself if you have any kind of creative projects. I'm writing a book. I'm studying Japanese. And so when I go in, I've got all this time uh, that I, I can work on these things. And it's just, it's incredible. And I mean, I guess I was even more inspired to make this video because Thursday and Friday, the following two days, I just received my schedule for that school where I know they'd mentioned that they had exams, but I had assumed that, you know, I'd still have one or two classes on those days. Um, but when I got my work schedule, it just said, please show up and prepare lesson plans for the following weeks, which I can do in no matter of time now that I've gotten more used to it. And then that literally means they just want me to be at the school. I don't have to do any classes and I can work on whatever I want, provided I mean I get my lesson plans done for the, the following classes, but that doesn't take up that much time. And I'm trying to think of many jobs where they're like, we just want you to show up, do a basic amount of work, and then you could work on whatever your own projects are. You know, you wouldn't want to, I don't know, obviously you couldn't be bringing in like video games or something like that, but if they see you working away on your computer, if they see you reading a book, if they see you studying, they're not going to say a thing about it. So it's just an incredible opportunity to be still getting paid while furthering some other interests that you might have. And so they, these like the holidays are huge. Yeah, the workload that you experience, especially if you're in junior high school, is just incredible. Um, I would say as well, like other benefits that you have, um, the paid sort of holidays that you get granted, there's sort of a diminished level that you're going to get paid for them. You know, like, uh, for example, in the next month, I have something like I have, what is it? It's going to be March, looking at the calendar, I'm from the 21st to the 31st off of March. But I'm still going to receive 70% of my pay for that for that month. And then in the summer, when I get, you know, six weeks off, I still receive pay for that month that I entirely have the month off. So, you you know, I haven't been in a lot of jobs like that. I, you know, some people might experience this on EI. They might get, get it in that case. Uh, but not like this. Not like this. Uh, so that's really that's really incredible the the, uh, the amount that you can get paid even when you're you're being given these extended breaks off and when you're given a full month off in the case of summer more than a month uh, that you're still getting a significant portion of your pay 
Uh, a really, really cool thing if you're kind of the adventuresome type as well, if you end up in a place slightly more rural like I am, uh, you can be given a car. And the car rental, when you drive one of these little cars, they're compact. And so you end up spending something like, you know, in Canadian dollars, probably roughly comparable to American, you'd spend about maybe just over $60 a month on gas. And that's that's me driving every day outside of um outside of you know when i uh when i sorry i'm stumbling here when i drive for the school you know if i got any other thing that i'm driving around to go and do cost me 60 dollars a month so it's not like i'm lightly driving I'm, I'm driving a fair bit and i still only spend that much on gas these vehicles are incredibly fuel efficient plus you get the 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 additional freedom of being able to drive wherever wherever it is that you want to go, you know, I've visited some some really cool places. I've gone to this really cool waterfall. I go to the beach often for, for walks and stuff. You just get all sorts of personal freedom, you know. Um, granted, there is the uh, the mass transit system. Even in a small town like I'm in, you can you know on stones throw away from being able to walk to the uh, the train. But the added convenience of a vehicle that's given to me for a absolute minimum cost per month is incredible it's a it's a really big benefit so that's a cool thing about the job and then i'm trying to list things that would be maybe you might not immediately think about i mean i know a lot of people think oh you're in a different culture you learn another language those are all benefits as well i was just thinking maybe ones that don't so immediately stand out to you uh when you're when you're starting up uh, and that, and that's why I don't want to go on about those other ones that you may already have thought about. But I was just, I was really thinking about the amount of days that I get off to like do whatever it is that I want to do recently. And I was like, that's, that's worth making a video about because you don't realize it until you receive your schedule. And then you just look at the thing and you're like, what, what they'll have is they'll have natural days off as a result of, um, you know, whatever national holiday, but then you often get these work days. It'll say work day on your schedule and they might call you in for work, but if they don't call you by a particular time in the morning, then you don't have to go to work. And those crop up all over the place for whatever reason. You know, it's a school event that doesn't necessarily require your attendance, this and that, and the other thing. Uh, but it, it is awesome. I mean, I'm just coming off of, a, what is it, it's a February, and I'm just coming off of a five-day break, and then the next two days at school, I've got only preparation for the whole day, so I'm going to go in, hammer out a lesson plan in a couple hours, and then be able to work on my writing and research Japanese the whole time. You know, like, what what a work week, you know, and then right back into two days off. It's it's just amazing. Um, really, really good. And all the while, when you are working with the kids, you you know, if, if you're doing your best, you feel like you're making an impact as well. Uh, so those were a few things. I was just thinking about that. I was like, that's really cool, the amount of time that I have off here. Is, and, you know... I don't want to make a secret of it. I'm like, people should know, you know, you have to work hard here when you're working, but wow, is that ever balanced by the, the amount of time off that you have? So that's it. Those are my thoughts. I thought I'd just make a little video on, on that aspect of it. Uh, you know, any questions you have, please do uh, send me, um, send me an email and I'll, I'll make a video regarding uh, my answers regarding your question. And uh, yeah, please like, subscribe, share if you enjoy the video. There will be lots more to come. And like I like to say, until we meet again next time, world thanks for tripping with Dave. Peace. Ciao for now.